Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox Edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Uh, so today we are taking out the STRVM slash 42-57. Yeah, I had, I had to write that one down. Um, it's a uh, tier 6 Swedish medium uh, tank. It's a premium tank. Uh, the map is Ravaged Capital and it is a standard battle. So I bought this tank so I would have something to start building um, building up Swedish crews. So right now this crew is 100%. I have no skills on it. Um, yeah. All your crews have to start out with nothing. And typically your premium tanks make the uh, crew building task a little bit uh, less tedious. Alright, so at the uh, beginning of this game, somebody pinged the uh, K5 area of the map, uh, so okay, um, I'll go there. I like to be, uh, I like to be in the area where I have some backup, and it's looking okay. Um, mainly tank destroyers over here, though. Um, so the medium tank, it's not a bad tank. Um, it's got no armor. Well, I guess that's not completely accurate. Um, let's just say if you get shot, you will get pinned. Um, four shells in the clip, the uh, oh, fire time between shots, uh, it's not bad at all really, it, it does feel like it could be a little bit quicker. You know, average pen is 150, uh, I think the average damage is right around there too, maybe 140 or something. Speed not bad on a hard flat surface, um, I'm going to say 44 kilometers, maybe you might hit 45. Uh, reload, not horrible either. Um, again, it feels like it could be a little bit quicker, but you know, if it if it does 150 damage on average, you're, you're looking at 600 damage per clip. That's not bad at tier six. Alrighty, so here comes an M6. He knows somebody's over here. Maybe he doesn't realize everybody who's over here. We put the first shot in. We track them. Um, if you notice the ribbons up there, I put three shots in. Um, no assist. I got two tank destroyers sitting right in front of them. One's a Hellcat. Uh, the other one's a Swedish one. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have a turret. Um, for some reason, they're unable to shoot at this guy. I mean, they will eventually kill him, but not while I had him tracked for the assisted damage. But that's pretty much par for the course anymore. If you want it done, you got to do it yourself. You can see we are reloaded already. We've got a uh, 3001P over there, and we're pretty much penetrating him. Um, Easy enough. I think we uh, penetrated three out of four of those shots. So it may sound weird, but the to me the most underwhelming part of this tank is the gun sound. <laughs> Half of the shots sound like um, an air rifle, a BB gun. And I don't know, I guess if I'm running around shooting and killing stuff, I want to sound dangerous as well as be dangerous. And I don't know, maybe it's just, uh, obviously it's all in my head. You know, if you're playing in a tank that looks and acts and sounds mean, um, you'll play it that way. You know, if you're playing in a tank that goes pew, 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 well, you get what I'm saying. All right, does VK knows I'm here? Is he going to come around the corner? Yeah, he will. Thank you very much. So, I mean, I do like the tank. Um... It makes pretty decent silver. I have no idea what the multipliers are. Um, I start out with 36 regular rounds and 24 premium um, APCR. It does play up to tier 8 and that can really be an issue. You've got 700 hit points and tier 8 is going to probably double that. Let's say you have average 150 alpha. I think that might be high. Um, to take out an entire tier 8, you're going to put 2 plus clips in them. You got 700 hit points, um, a tier 8 is probably going to hit you twice. But that is part of World of Tanks, there are a lot of imbalances when you cross tiers. And that's part of learning to play the game, really. I mean, honestly, I'd rather be shooting and killing a tier 8 in my tier 6 than being a tier 8 killing a tier 6. But it does get extremely frustrating when uh, game after game after game is tier 8. And it seems like you play most of the game just trying not to get shot and finding something that you can penetrate. 
All right, so here I don't really have a shot on this um, IKV, but I I'm new to this tank run. I don't know. Uh, basically, I'm just hoping maybe one of my shells will sink over that ridge and actually hit them. Um, but they seem to fly a little bit too true at that distance to have uh, actually sunk behind that ridge. So we go for a reload. Um, the only way through to the other guys there is through the uh, enemy caps. And he knows I'm coming. He does put a shot in, but uh, I got three more for him. And actually four. And I'm not familiar with these um, Swedish tank destroyers either. I've seen some of them. It seemed like they got a damn machine gun on them. I don't know what I was looking at. I don't know if there was a, if they have auto loading tank destroyers. That'd be kind of weird. Alrighty, so um, yeah, that's the end of that game. It's a victory. Um, I think that's uh, two times on here. First one of the day. Um, no, I guess it's not. Anyway, it's a good chunk of XP to uh, go into my uh, crew. My personal preference, um, six cents. First crew, you, or first skill you gotta have. Especially in a tier 6 with no armor that plays up to tier 8. You gotta know if the enemy can see you. I mean, there are plenty of tier 8 tanks that will take you out in one shot. Force uh, it comes to mind. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I rambled enough about uh, whatever issues. Uh, if you liked the video, uh, go ahead and click the like button. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You will get notifications from YouTube when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.